Welcome back you guys for another brand new video. Today we're going to be covering the new Fable game or what people are calling Fable 4 uh, and just everything we know about it so far. Uh, I'm super excited for this. This this along with Avowed was something we saw at that Xbox game showcase and then not really much details after this. But we did find a fantastical article from you know GamesRadar.com which we love diving into. So we're going to dive into this article, read everything we need to know about Fable 4 so far, and then just share our thoughts at the end. On the channel we cover gaming news, so if that's something you guys are into, uh, maybe drop a like on the video, consider subscribing here if you guys haven't already, and just turn on that notification bell so you guys never miss uploads. So now I said this game, this article is from GamesRadar.com which we use pretty, pretty fairly on this channel. Uh, it's called Fable 4, everything we know about so far about the new Fable. And it says, uh, Fable 4 has fairies, frogs, and a brand new developer. The article was uh, written by Sam Loveridge, who I think we've read some articles from before. It says, there's a new Fable game on the way, aka Fable 4. Although it's not currently clear what the game is actually called, originally announced back in 2020, we've seen nothing more of the game since. But what we do know is that the studio behind the Forza Horizon series has taken on the series from a new original crew at Lionhead. But what we do know is that the studio behind the Forza Horizon series has taken on the series from the original crew at Lionhead. It's assumed that this is going to be something of a reboot and according to Xbox boss Phil Spencer, Fable fans should take just take confidence in Playground Games because of the pedigree of the team. To put the Fable franchise and give it a completely fresh start in the hands of one of the greatest game developers in the world, and also right there in England with Playground Games, is sort of a dream come true, said Aaron Greenberg, general manager of Xbox Games Marketing at Microsoft. We're letting them bring a fresh start with the franchise, and it still has the classic British humor that's really true to the franchise. It's obviously going to be a role-playing game. We've got the best folks in the industry working on it today. So within the uh, teaser trailer, it says, Swords, Magic, Fairies, Albion Glimmering in the Distance. All the Fable ingredients seem to be in order. The voiceover is familiar too, it just screams Royal Shakespeare Company. The world is filled with legendary heroes and treacherous villains, one of the fantastical creatures in wondrous places, where nature and magic live in perfect harmony. Not all stories have happy endings, but yours has to be written. Fable 4 could be an MMO set in the Fable universe. Interestingly, there's a new rumor floating around that suggests Fable 4 may not be the new RPG entry we're hoping for, but rather an MMO set in the world of Fable. The news came courtesy of a French journalist at ChronoTK on Twitter who accurately predicted the entire Xbox game showcase lineup ahead of the stream so seems to have some serious insider knowledge. A huge Fable 4 leak revealed that a massive chunk of the gameplay and core themes may have changed, including the game is likely set across multiple planets and could even involve time travel. Fable 4 E3 2019 leak hinted at major changes on the way. Apparently Albion has been destroyed by an asteroid that got wished into existence by a Mad King who took control of the Tattered Spire the will-fueled tower from Fable 2 that granted the person who controlled it one wish once it was built. So it's down to you to use time travel to save it, we think. Theresa and the guild are hiding away on another planet that you can access via a demon door, but if you want, you can ignore the entirety of the main quest and never become a hero at all. Players can also build their own towns in the completely open world, which ties into the main quest, unsurprising for anyone who's played any Fable game, Plus, the character creator is majorly in-depth. For all those who are miffed about the guns in Fable 3 and 2, you can rest assured that there are zero guns in Fable 4. Oh yeah, there's finally multiplayer. The whole thing is just being made in Unreal Engine, so it could look pretty as heck. Now we just need to see it in action. Fans will be pleased to hear that the next Fable will follow the cues set out by the previous games in the main series, with Fable 4 set to be an open-world action RPG focused on story and character. Despite the official announcement, there was no release date or even window given up for Fable during the Xbox July game showcase, so it's probably going to be a while before we can visit Albion. Now there's a question that says, will there ever be a Fable 4 PS4 release? Now there's something we're definitely sure of, you're never going to be able to play Fable 4 on the PS4. The IP is owned by Microsoft, and because of that you can put all your money on the fact that it'll be an Xbox exclusive to Xbox Series and PC when it does eventually arrive. It does say the original Fable creators have mixed feelings about the sequel. Seeing as the original team behind the Fable is no more, it's understandable but that the folks behind the original series have some concerns about the sequel being made by an entirely new team. And in quotes it says, I see, I have slightly mixed feelings, said Fable co-creator Simon Carter in an interview with Eurogamer. On the one hand, it's great for the UK games industry, and we are very pleasing that Fable isn't dead. Indeed, it will be lovely to play one as a punter without coming out in hives. On the other, it's a little 
curious to get rid of that team that is uniquely expert in making Fable, and then try and make Fable. Fable is a weird game and a tough one to deconstruct for a new team. That said, the team in question is very talented and I'm sure they'll do a fantastic job. In early 2017, long after Lion had closed, Xbox boss Phil Spencer actually tweeted that he thought the Fable series still had potential. That was about the time that people started to speculate that there might be a little glimmer of hope for Fable 4. It wasn't exactly evidence then, but in the new, in light of the new information from the various reports, it certainly adds a little bit more of official weight to the Fable 4 rumors. Um, now it says what we want to see in Fable 4, and this is a little bit more um, of an in-depth like opinion from the article. So I'll read just the the taglines and maybe a little bit of the passage, but I don't want to like go too far in depth with it. Um, just because it will take up a little bit of your time. But number one says, make combat more epic, but also personal. Although combat has been great in previous Fable games, the next entry in the series could do well at making things a little bit more grand, both on the large and small scale. Firstly, make some enemies have more emphasis on slow things down at times and make the build up to major fights feel a little bit more weighty. It'll keep fights from feeling mundane over time and ensure that your decisions really matter when it comes to the bigger characters. It says, give the dog a bigger role. This should go without saying, but although previous fable dogs have been very good boys, <laughs> It would be better for them to have a little bit more purpose to the actual gameplay. In Fable 2, he would dig up treasures and help you in battle, with more tricks available if you found the right books. He would also change appearances depending on your morality alignment. In Fable 3, however, he became a smaller part of your journey through Albion. You could pet him, play fetch, or discipline him, and occasionally he would find you treasures. Make all your decisions matter more is number 3. The original Fable creator famously always had grand visions of what Fable's morality system could be, but in reality, the gameplay never quite lived up to the expectations or promises. Hopefully, with the power of the Xbox Series X, this one says 1X, but I'm going to say Series X because that's what's current now. It says, hopefully with the power of the Xbox Series X and PC, we could see the morality system and overall decision making get a decent overhaul in Fable 4. It would also help if your clothing choices weren't just cosmetic either. Yes, your morality changes your appearance, especially in terms of skin, but your clothes had no effect on your character's attributes or playstyle. Maybe in Fable 4 they could. Number 4 is enlist an all-star cast. The list of voice actors on board for Fable 3 was, dazzle was a dazzling array of talent from Stephen Fry and Ben Kingsley to Peter Wertwe and Michael Fassbender and even Simon Pegg, John Cleese, and Zoe Wanamaker. The voice talent in the game was brilliant, hearing well-known voices in your game was a huge boom for Fable 3, and if Fable 4 could have a similarly star-studded cast, we wouldn't mind at all. Number 5 is bring back the minigames. An occupational hazard way back in Fable 2 and 3, thanks to those job-related minigames that put your thumb to the test, were 97% certain that they would reappear in Fable 4, that muscle memory would reawaken from its slumber. Each activity requires you to stab various buttons in a certain order, but with each promotion the difficulty increases, mainly by making the button prompt zip across the screen much faster. There is the chance to earn some serious gold, and when you get really good at, at it, you sort of go into a daze where your fingers act independently, waking up from the stupor with a sack of gold by your feet. Number six is keep the silliness, and I think this is the last part of it. It says, although it go, it's easy to go a little over the top, we're looking at you, Saints Row. There's a wonderful place that lies between that and being very boring indeed. And that's where Fable has always sat, embracing the silliness. If Playground Games or whoever is making Fable 4 can channel that ethos and charm, it'll help the series continue to stand out from any other RPG out there. So that's going to do it for what we know about Fable 4 so far. That's another game, like I said, I'm super excited about. I remember playing Fable 2 back on the 360. It was just a fantastic game. Um, and I'm actually replaying it now. So um, I'm really excited to see what Playground Studios can do with that because the Forza Horizon series is just something else like the the graphics they're able to put into that the worlds they create is just amazing so being able to translate that over into like a fantastical rpg something like fable is going to be i think something we haven't really seen before and it's going to be groundbreaking in my opinion 
especially coming from playground games if they can capitalize on it so i'm really excited about it i hope you guys are too again like avowed this is a new game i'm introducing to the channel um because we should be getting some new information soon now that it's been about two years since the game was even officially announced and, and playground studios just released forza horizon 5 so fable could definitely very well be their main priority now and they're going to start pumping some stuff out for it so i wanted to start introducing it to the channel now but again let me know all your thoughts down below if you guys did enjoy the video please be sure to smash the thumbs up button consider subscribing here if you guys are new and haven't already and turn on that notification bell so you guys never miss an upload as always my name is ross and i'll see you guys in the next video